Ahoy there, Captain Benzie here, coming at you with another how-to guide for getting started in EVE Echoes. This time around, I am in possibly the ugliest spaceship ever designed in order to talk to you about hauling. Now, as usual, if you do enjoy these videos, let me know in the comments section below. Do feel free to request videos or suggest topics down there too, and come and find me on the various different social media channels shown on screen and linked in the description down below. I'm always very happy to get to know you guys, have a chat with what you guys think, and of course, Eve, Eve Echoes is kind of my big focus now, but I do cover other mobile games too on this channel. Anyway, with all that said and done, let's have a look at hauling, or logistics, depending on which way you want to call it. I prefer to think of this as being a deep space trucker. <laughs> so basically, hauling or logistics is the, so it's, it's the act, it's the business, the industry of taking items from one place and dropping them off at another. You're basically a delivery driver. Think FedEx or UPS or like, you know, your big ice road truckers that you see on the National Geographic and History channels. So essentially, how do we get started with this? Well, of course, you can do some of this in just a basic ship. Again, something like a magnate or a probe that has a decent enough, uh, decent enough hold space. And something I discovered recently, um, if you are using a Minmatar probe, I'm going to jump through the ship tree to sh uh, show you this. Uh, but if you are using a Minmatar probe for this kind of thing, um, you can actually go into here, archaeology, uh, the archaeology skill, and every level of that skill you get an additional 15% cargo hold capacity. That means that here the ship goes from 1,000 meters cubed up to like 1,300 um, in two skill levels very, very quickly. Great for just jumping around and picking stuff up. That said, this hideous looking ship you see on screen now, like seriously, I don't think I have seen a ship that looks more like more horrid than this, is an Imacus, or rather, this is a very special Imacus, this is the Imacus High Mobility. You can see I haven't bothered kitting mine out, it literally has an afterburner on it, um, and, and that's it. In fact, when you buy one of these off the, uh, off the market, immediately the turrets and all of that for me actually made it... Uh, made it go straight over capacitor and over power grid. But why this particular ship? Well, mainly because it starts with a 9,000 meters cubed delivery hold. You've got a standard cargo hold, which contains a measly 10 meters cubed, but has a delivery hold of 9,000. And again, if you put uh, any stats into any skill points into logistics management, each level you take will give you an additional 5% delivery hold capacity. This means rather than going out and spending a lot of isk on a big ship like a wreath or you know, some of the other bigger haulers um, out there, that ultimately, uh, you know, cost an awful lot of risk to get off the ground. This particular one with three points, with three levels in uh, the logistics skill, I now have a hold of 10,350 meters cubed. Now, the important point to make here is that it is larger than 10,000 because large containers in, uh, in logistics, the large containers can take up to 10,000 meters cubed. Uh, go, you need a ship that can take at least that amount. And quite frankly, the Imacus here, the, uh, Imacus High Mobility, is the cheapest and fastest way you can do that. In fact, if I load up the market here, go to ship, go to, I think it's under industrial ships, and load into that now, there it is, Imacus High Mobility. If you tap on that, you'll see that at the moment they are selling for a ludicrously low 50,000 ISK. And these are readily available at places like Jita, um, Piakura. You know, these these seem to appear on the market fairly frequently and at a fairly stable fifty thousand. Now, as I said, fifty thousand gets you a ship with originally a nine thousand meters cubed hold space, but with three levels in logistics management, you get uh, the plus fifteen percent there that takes you over the ten thousand. Otherwise, if you look at something like a Mammoth, a Mammoth is a very expensive ship on the market at the moment and only has a 6,800 meters cubed cargo hold capacity. The Wreath, let's have a look at this one. And we scroll down, 4,800. And finally, even things like the Nereus, the Nereus, which is the one that they literally have on the delivery artwork, even here, as we scroll down, 5,400 meters cubed. In fact, if you're going to go for Nereus, things like the Nereus Hauling, um, has a much bigger 
uh, hold there of 50,000 or a nearest high mobility. And again, if you go down there, it's 30,000. But if you compare that, 30,000 meters cubed for a 31 million isk price tag. Compared that to, you know, uh, to an Imacus here and an Imacus with... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 9,000 meter, uh, 9, meter cubed hold space for a piddly 50,000 isk. You can buy like a couple of these and within, I think it's taken me about two and a half hours of skill training, maybe just under three hours uh, to hit the level three skill required. If I jump into skills now, I'll show you the one I mean. So if we go through all skills, um, you go into, I'm sure it's under social science um, and then trade. Let's scroll down. Nope, it, I can never find these skills when I need them, but they are around here somewhere. Uh, corporation management trade it's here somewhere oh there we are logistics management it was in the right place i just went past it now curiously the actual stats that it's given me are things like handling fees insurance these aren't actually things that are properly implemented in the game yet so logistics is kind of a thing that we will end up doing a, a, a bit of a redo on a video this is just kind of a quick get started guide for you but at level three it's not these skills that i care about it is very much just getting that Imacus upgraded so that you can get the 10,000 uh, cargo hold. As you can see here, 9,000 is the starting amount, but since I've got those three skill points in there, if I go into my uh, inventory and to the delivery hold, 10,350 meters cubed. That is big enough to haul almost anything. Okay, so we've got the skills we need to get an Imacus. We've got an Imacus and we're flying it around. Um, is there anything you need to fit your Imacus with? As I showed earlier, no. There is nothing you need to fit your Imacus with at all. Um, I don't really think you need it. Now, I've come all the way out here to see J6MT, which is in Inn's Mother, and just to show you where this is on the map, because it's quite a scary little place to be. This is Inn's Mother, and that's not a fun colour to see your entire area. As you can see, I'm down in, like, minus 0.3 security. If we look at this on the New Eden map, yeah, I am all the way out here. And in fairness, uh, the, you know, it's pretty lucrative space out here, but that's not why we're here. It's mainly because a lot of people do come out here and dump stuff on the market super cheap um, and people then buy it from the other uh, ITC stations and want it shipped. So now we tap on logistics. We are docked in one of these low security stations. It's an ITC station. We go into uh, the logistics and then we go into accept delivery request. Now here it tells you obviously we're starting at our current active station and we just need to decide where each of these are going to finish off. Now straight up here you can see that there's a couple of different ones on here. We can scroll down, we can ignore the zero isk uh, per meters cubed because there's no real profit in any of those. We can scroll down so you'll see there's tons of these but there may be others here as well. No, at the moment lots and lots of zero isk ones but right here at the top um, we do have a couple that I'm going to take just to showcase. So we're going to grab this top one here, which wants me to grab, uh, jump all the way to Tash, uh, Tash Merc on Prime. We are going to grab that now, um, send the request, grab that, and again we'll jump back in and grab the other one as well, because may as well. Oh, looks like there were two of those. Cool. Let's grab two of those, because if we're going to that same place, you do pay a bit of collateral just to, uh, just to make sure that you're not yeah, yeah, it's 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 your kind of way of not uh, not saying yeah, I'm not going to just jump in there and grab this and open it up. So we take a little bit of collateral. There we are. We've got three of those now. I can open up the inventory here and here in the item hanger. You see, we have three logistics containers. Now these are small logistics containers. Um, they each contain uh, 100 meters cubed. Um, here you see, there's three of these. I've got. And you can see the reward you get for them. Now, it did take give me a double take on these. These three that I've taken aren't particularly lucrative. You can have a look um, at other ones um, around as well. You might decide that there are other, as you're going through other different stations, dock and check the logistics. Um, it may be worth picking up. But just to give you a vague idea of what we're doing, these are the three. And when I hand this one in, that's 51,520 isk. To me, this does need a bit of a uh, a bit of an increase. In, uh, in, in the amount of money you can make from it just because sitting there AFK for this long doesn't often feel worth it. Again, I'm showing you this video not as a way of saying, do this, this is an amazing way of making money. I'm saying this is something you may want to get into now before it really starts to kick off. 
because this is, uh, in EVE Online, this is a fantastic way to make money because not many people do it. Especially if you're going down into these lower security or null sec areas um, where your hauler is open to attack, you may end up wanting to pay some of your corporation friends or just some uh, other mercenaries to protect your ship. You fly in a pack in order to do this. Um, now, of course, I do have the option to open container just to see what's in it. Um, I'm going to be a good guy this time around. I'm going to move those into the Imacus High Mobility. Now, I don't tap on the ship. I tap on the little icon next to it to put it into the delivery hold. It's the same if you're putting stuff into Adventures or Hold. And there we have it. If I open up the Imacus High Mobility's delivery hold, there are my three logistics containers. Nothing there. I just need to check where these have got to go. There we are. It's Tash Mercon Prime, so that's the one we're going to go for here. Um, there may be a better way of doing this. I've yet to actually like find this yet. Um, but, so it's Tash Mercon. If we go into the star map, go to search here at the bottom left, and when that loads in, and then Tash... Uh, that should be enough. Tash Moo. If I search for that, there we are, Tash Mercon. Let's just go to Tash Mercon. As a system, Tashmark on Prime, set as destination, I can't remember which station it was, but that is fine for our autopilot. So what I'm going to do now is literally, I'm just going to set that autopilot, I'm not going to do this, uh, like at this point in the uh, beta, there, there aren't that many people like jumping deliveries and haulers and logistics ships out there, but it can happen. And um, so I've got a micro warp drive. It's the only thing I've got fitted just so I can push myself out of uh, out of a sticky situation that a little bit faster. Oh, and this hideous ship. Off it goes. Off it goes. Seriously, this is the ugliest ship in the entire game. Um, but I'm just going to literally go all 35 jumps now back to Tash Mercon Prime. I'm not going to sit and make you guys sit through this. I will pick this video up once I get there. 36 jumps later, and here we are in Tash Mercon Prime at the Carl Kyoto Corporation factory, or however the heck you pronounce that. Ultimately, this is the delivery location for this particular delivery that we've had. So, I need to go into the inventory, I'm going to look into the delivery hold of this ship and at the logistics containers. Now, here you can see that this particular one here, Tash Mercon Prime 2, Moon 1, yada yada yada, deliver. I can tap on that, and there is my beautiful amount of, um, uh, hit, there's my reward, and the, uh, the, the, the protection money uh, paid back to me. I forget what they call that now. Uh, collateral, there we are. So, if I put this one in now, which again, Tash on Prime 2, deliver, I get the reward, and I get my, uh, my collateral back. Now, ultimately, as you can see, that didn't earn me much at this point in time. Now, we're actually, as I'm recording this, there is an AMA going on on the EVE Echoes Discord with uh, MA, NA Lance, uh, NE Lance Dot answering a few questions about things like logistics and market, um, and they are looking at certainly increasing the amount of money you can get from this. Because obviously, yes, it is fairly... Um, it, it's fairly easy. You can kind of autopilot around doing these deliveries for people, but at the same time, it's uh, you know, it, it's a lot of time just going AFK, jumping back and forward between different stations for not much in the way of money at all as it currently stands. I mean, heck, if I go to logistics now and have a look, see if there's anything from this station onwards to anywhere else. See if there's a decent uh, logistics there. Twelve jumps for six hundred and fifty. Not overly great at all. Just it's a small amount. That's what 665 thousand, I think, if I work it out. Um, and all the rest are zero isk. Obviously, the logistic system at the moment does require a bit of an overhaul. Requires a bit of work. And I mean, of course, it does also base around players. You need to have players actually putting up delivery orders. Um, certainly, like this one here. 12 jumps away. Yeah, it's 380. 1640 for the collateral uh, let's 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 take it and see how much I can earn from this one so that's kind of all there really is to uh, logistics you, you kind of fly to a station you check the market for any deliveries you then go into your inventory um, and, and just make those deliveries you're like a like like a space postman it's very very straightforward very simple um, but as I said, of course, it, it's not a great way of making money at this point in time. You know, it, it remains to be seen. Um, there's a part of me looking at this kind of going, you know, what? that's a long way away. 
It's not much in the way of money, just to showcase scripts. Sorry if this was your container and you were expecting me to deliver this. I'm going to open it. Containers can only be opened at a station. Awesome. Well, I am at a station and it's not opening. Let's see if I can open the other one. Nope. That appears to be bugged at the moment. But you can theoretically open containers um, and see what's in them. Sometimes you can make some pretty big prizes from that. Right, well, that about wraps up everything that I wanted to say in this particular video regarding logistics. As I said, at this point in time, it is not a particularly great way of earning money, but I have had people asking, how do you actually go about doing logistics? Currently, there aren't many orders going on, there aren't many items being delivered, um, and with NetEase and CCP, currently the developers haven't quite got a got a handle on exactly how much money you can earn on this. I mean, until recently, you got an additional subsidy, um, in addition to just the item itself, which actually made it very lucrative hauling. Um, and I made a fair bit of money doing this, but didn't get a chance to record it. So things are looking like they're going to pick up at some point soon. Um, it does look like uh, doing this is something that in the future will be a very lucrative industry for you. Um, so certainly if you want to just give it a try and see what it's all about, this video was aiming just to showcase that so that when, uh, when NetEase and CCP do fix the situation, and trust me, I will make a big alert on that, uh, logistics will be ready to go and you'll know how to do it. Anyway, that covers everything I wanted to say, so thank you all so much for waiting, uh, for listening this long into the video. I do love it uh, to see how many of you guys stick around this far. Happy sailing and see you in New Eden.